Situated at the foot of the craggy Sandia Mountains is the southwestern city of Albuquerque, New Mexico. But the surrounding desert was also once home to the infamous Manhattan Project, a secret government initiative that gave birth to the atomic bomb. So it's a fitting location for the National Museum of Nuclear Science and History, a Smithsonian affiliate dedicated to presenting the past, present, and future of a sometimes controversial technology. Within these walls, visitors can take in the power of nuclear-armed rockets and bombs and contemplate what it was like to live under the apocalyptic threat of the Cold War. More than any other artifact, one 10-foot-long dented hydrogen bomb casing brings home the danger of the nuclear age. In 1966, this silver cylinder was accidentally dropped from the sky after an American bomber and an airborne fuel tanker collided over southern Spain. But when U.S. forces tried to retrieve the lost weapon, they couldn't find it. It took two months of frantic searching before the lost atom bomb was finally located at the bottom of the Mediterranean Sea. But deadly radioactive material isn't just found in bombs. The contents of an antique glass bottle on display also proved to be highly toxic. This supposed elixir, called Radithor, contained a fatal mix of water and the radioactive element, radium. Originally thought to be a cure-all, it was anything but. In fact, it caused severe bone deterioration and death. By the time its true properties were discovered, it had destroyed thousands of lives. At the Nuclear History and Science Museum in Albuquerque, Geiger counters, damaged bombs, and ingestible forms of radiation remind visitors of the deadly power of the atomic age.